Hi, my name is Domingo and today I'm super excited on showing you guys the features for my latest project is a 3D printer bulldozer. So let's go and explore. Starting on the front part, we have four options for the blade. This one that you see here, it has a metal strip, is one of the options. The other one is totally 3D printed, if you don't want to include the blade, uh, the metal blade here. And the other two are for people that have smaller 3D printers, uh, 225 by 225, and it's 90% the width of this one. This is the full blade. And the same, we have the two options, if you want to include metal strip or if you want to have the completely one 3D printed. Then coming here with the actuators, these are 30 millimeters actuators. And this one is for angle the blade this way. And this one is for tilt the blade. And you have here a 15 millimeters one. And with this one, you can also modify this one, move and back to move the blade, the angle of attack of the blade. And these ones are the lifting uh, actuators. Coming here inside, this is the sound model and also here I have designed this space for a fan if you want to include that fan and keep everything cool. I have run this one for 30 minutes and it runs cool, even the motors and everything. But if you are in a hot weather, the fan could be a good option. This is a 12 volt fans. For the light options, I have included all mounting LED places. So you have this one on the front, this one, also this one here. And here on the back, there are three on each side. So you can put some LEDs and wiring everything. Everything is also has a place for the wires. So that's the lights part. The wires on the front blade also have a space here inside to be routed. Coming here on the undercarrier, you have all these ones are bearings, uh, phalanx bearings. So you have eight here um, by two, you have 16. So the undercarriage run really smoothly with all of that. And here inside you have two sprints. So it calibrate the tension of these tracks and also prevent any uh, over force of the of this uh, rocket. So it functions this way. If you have so much tension here, the springs are going to compress here and it's going to release a little the track. So it will skip that one and it will not break the whole thing. So um, it's really it's really good uh, safe function here. Coming back to the repair section, you can see here, this is a 30 millimeter actuator, 90 newtons. And the geometry and the functionality is like the real machine. And it has all the details for that. Here you can see, also I have included a functional letter and a shower here. Also, really cute design. And also here, the doors can be open and closed in this side and also in this side. Now let's put the batteries on it and show you the movement of the different parts of this bulldozer. For the battery, I have these batteries, uh, 3S 300 milliamp. So this is the battery already mounted and then we put the engine cover here and it's all ready. Now this is a demonstration of the sound model.
Now I'm going to take it to the field and do some testing so I can show you guys what are the capabilities of this bulldozer. I have some garden soil. It's a little wet, but I will show you how it works. demonstration. Let's do a demonstration of the Reaper.
oil has a lot of grass and breaking all the roots of the grass. Have it guys, this is a demonstration. We are here back in the bench after the test, and something that I noticed is this actuator move a little bit uh, off of his position. So there is a screw here, maybe I had to tie more that screw and also help with a little of uh, silicone glue or something like that to keep it right here in this position instead of here but overall I'm really really happy with the performance of this bulldozer another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create another video disassemble it and paint it all together and then and then assemble it again so this model guys is on cell I put it on cold 3D so you can go there on the description and build your bulldozer yourself. Um, any question that you guys have, uh, please let me know on the comments below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you later in another video. Thanks.